Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. You're currently staring at my Notifier AFP400 fire alarm control panel, which is on a board, as you can see. It's not uh, mounted on any type of wall or uh, anything other than a demonstrational board here that I put together that uh, I want to show you guys. So the heart of the system obviously is this AFP400 fire alarm control panel. Um, this panel is really cool. I'm still learning how to do a lot of the things. Um, I barely figured out how to uh, just set it up as a basic fire alarm system and it's got a bunch of cool things such as this uh, security alarm feature as you can see there which uh, would definitely be cool to get working soon which I, I do have plans to get that working but um, that, that's for another video. Um, now I do have a door for this uh, it, it's actually holding up the light that's keeping this shop looking nice and pretty. So I can't really show you the door, but uh, if you're curious what the door looks like, you can go to New Age Server Alarms YouTube channel because this uh, was his panel. He sold it to me, and uh, now I have it. So if you want to see what the door looks like, it's an ADT branded door with a little notifier sticker on it. Uh, if you're really curious to see what the door looks like, just go to his channel and check it out. Um, but this is the panel. Um, it's really small for what it is, and uh, I don't have much hooked up to it, but I'll show you. Uh, before I actually show you the system, I find this really cool. You pull this down, and woo, you have a full-size keyboard, and uh, it, it just looks really, really cool. Um, but we'll, we'll go back more into detail here on the panel shortly. So coming out the top, we have this uh, little LB here that comes into a fire alarm junction box. And then if we come down, we have a... T-bar pole station, this is just one of those RSG metal T-bars that everyone loves and sees. Uh, reason why I put it here, number one, it was conventional and I could demonstrate this guy, which is an MMX-1 monitor module. As you can see, it's nicely labeled L1 module 2, loop 1 module 2. Um, there's different ways of labeling them, but that's just the way I like to label it. So um, yeah, get you a close up of that. And as you can see, it's actually an older model uh, module here. It's when it was branded as Pitway. I really like this variant of them. So I actually have another one right here. It doesn't work though. So that's why we have this one. This one actually is new. That one was used. It doesn't work. So I wound up getting another one that actually worked. And so that's hooked up to this. Uh, another reason why I use this was it's a 17021 key. That's the notifier key if you don't know. Um, and it just makes everything a lot easier. Continuing down, I have a Notifier BG12LX. Um, there's the model number, if you're really that curious. Uh, this is probably one of the newer models that they make. It's got the LED that like points out. Um, I, I believe that could flash green if the panel supported it. This panel doesn't support the whole green flashing thing, so it flashes red. Uh, Notifier by Honeywell, looking nice and dandy. And then I have the you know, loop one, module one. This is module one on the system, so that's what that's for. And then obviously a key there. If we go back up and we go to the right, as you can see, I have a wheel lock AS. Now, I used a wheel lock AS because it's honestly the first alarm that was at the top of the bin where I keep my alarms. So I literally just pulled it out and I was like, okay, this works. Um, has packing tape over it because it's super loud and my face is like two feet away from it and this is on a board, so I figured that'd be okay. We have another spot for another signal when the time comes. I do actually have an idea of what I'm gonna put here. This will come down and I, I got an idea for the next test, it's gonna look pretty cool. And there you have it. You can see that the whole system is not wired with true FPL. This is technically FPLR. They sell this at Home Depot. If you actually read the cable, it's, it's CLR and then like FPLR, but some of the stuff is wired with this. In fact, most of the SLC is. Um, except for like little runs that I had enough of fire alarm cable for. I used fire alarm cable. It's a demonstration system, so it really doesn't matter. Um, moving over here, I have a smoke detector. This is loop one, module four. And really quick, let me just acknowledge that so I can show you the model number here on the head. It's a SDX, or I'm sorry, that was an epic fail. It's a FSP 851. And then that's what the back looks like. If you're curious, this is what the base looks like. Nothing special. And again, uh, L1, M4. And I use this really, uh, the, the flush, not flush mount, but the, it's the smaller base. I really like this base. I have another base, but I like this base. Um, pop this thing back on. 
Oh, and you may were may have been wondering what that beeping was. Well, when it's, as we drop it. Over here, it just shows an invalid reply, saying that the head's missing. Um, that's very common on complex addressable systems. So put that back in and it goes back to normal blinking. Um, you may notice the screen may not look super bright. Well, it, it is, it's just with the light um, on. So there's the actual LCD. It works, it's bright. It's just with the light that I have going up here. It's a big fluorescent light. Um, so that's what makes it not as visible, but it looks better for the video. So with all that being said, I'm going to stop talking now and we're gonna go ahead and pull the Notifier BG12LX because it's classic and we're just gonna pull it. Three, two, one. There you go, activated. Come up here to the uh, horn strobe. Uh, this is 75 Candela. And then if we look at the panel, it says alarm, pull station, and BG12LX. So I went in and silenced the alarm. Uh, strobe turns off, that's just on the latest NFPA stuff about uh, strobes and how they're not supposed to flash, so I didn't want them to flash. Um, so there is the NBG12LX pull station, it says zone four. I really don't know what zone four means, even though it's module 101, in this case how I labeled it, just module one. Um, so with that said, we will now go ahead and test the smoke detector with this. This is a smoke detector spray thing. Um, I, let's, let's, yeah, let's just spray it. Nice, all over the camera. Come on, go off. Today, today would be nice. Today, there we go. And there you have it. Shows uh, a fire alarm. We got the fire alarm blinking. It smells like smoke detector spray in here. So the alarm has been silenced. And then as you can see, smoke photo detector, and then it's module 104. Um, with that said, we are now going to reset the pull station. And then we'll come over here to the head. And honestly, we're just going to take it off the base for now. Let it have an invert because if we just reset the panel with it on the base, it's just gonna re-alarm. So for right now, the system's gonna be in trouble. Um, system is, well, all systems normal. It's gonna go into trouble shortly because the head's missing when it does its SLC check. So we'll leave that off, let it air out, and then we'll put that back on later. Another thing you may have noticed is there are no batteries, and we, there's the invert. Uh, there are no batteries, and uh, it's not giving me a battery trouble. Well, that's because I have this whole diode thing going in there. Um, don't try this at home unless you know what you're doing, because if you just take the power from 24 volt resettable and plug it right into the battery, then you could blow it up. So I don't recommend doing that. You just, just don't try that at home unless you know what you're doing. And then, yeah, that's where the AC power comes in. Looks all nice. And uh, with that said, I'm gonna call this a video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, let me know down below what kind of devices you wanna see. Maybe change this out for something else and then for the signal. So uh, I'll, I'll check the comments below for that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video.